Wake up! Do you want to talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. Same dream? Mm-hmm. Same dream. Same time. I'm trapped, being chased. Can't get away. And then I wake. And that's it. It's just you. Nobody else. No. It's just me. Is it me? Who's one of you? I don't know. You're alone. You can't get away. Is it us? Do I make you feel trapped? No. Babe. Well, I know this isn't exactly what we had in mind when we were younger, but... This castle? <laughs> Who gets everything they fantasize about, right? I got you. Come here. It's just a dream. That's all it is. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to get you some better dreams. Mm. That would be nice. Oh, come on. Shit. What is it? Another bombing in the UFB. Passenger train. Goddamn system. Oh, I had to catch the 6.30 departure. I'm calling all emergency personnel to go up top. I gotta go. We'll pick this up tonight, okay? Try and you won't sleep. Sleep scares me. Well, dream of me. Okay. But not in these pants. Just moments after the commuters boarded. 
We have internal rescue teams are still searching for survivors. The death toll is at 144 and still rising. This marks the fourth attack in the United Federation of Britain in as many months. And all signs point to terrorist leader Matthias and his resistance movement. The UFB exploits us. The workers of the colony deserve equality. The fall enslaves us all. Chancellor Cohagen pointed to this as proof that Matthias does not seek a peaceful path to independence for the colony, but rather a prolonged and bloody conflict. And with overpopulation figures in the UFB continuing to rise, this could not come at a worse time. You recall the last attack occurred six weeks ago. Yeah. Federal police have since attributed that bombing to this man, Carl Hauser, a former intelligence officer turned traitor, now considered to be Matthias's right-hand man. No one had yet missed for the Hauser of the war. forever out of reach not anymore at recall we'll provide you with a complete set of memories all your own recall we can remember it for you all passengers please report to your designated gates this is the final boarding call for the 715 departure so well, man. Yeah, these new shifts are kicking my ass, too. At least the extra pay lets the missus rest easier. Look at you. Mr. Glass is half full at 6 a.m. Aurora, Pripyat. Welcome to the fall. It's 7.21 a.m. Travel time to the United Federation of Britain. 17 minutes. Dropping in 60 seconds. Oh, has it ever occurred to you that we always sit in these exact same seats? For years now. Why? I don't know. The seats, we have asses. Seems like the logical thing to do. I'm talking about us following the same routine, all right, day after day, year after year, without even questioning it. Wanna switch it up? I'm slap. Please make sure all personal belongings are stored below your seat before departure. <sighs> oh, yeah. Much more happening on this side. Good call. Dick. Three, two, have a nice day. Despite recent talks between Chancellor Cohagen and the colony's governor, the Chancellor has announced that he will be stopping all humanitarian aid to the colony in light of this morning's bombing. As much as I want to focus our efforts on cleaning up the colony, today's terrorist attacks means that funding will have to go to bolstering our synthetic federal police force. The protection of our citizens will always come first. Approaching core. Please prepare for gravity reversal. until cleared. Looks like that bomb's off a help panic up there. Identification documents must be in hand and ready to present to the security officer before entering the screening area. All factory personnel must enter through security gate 12. Hey, what do you know about recall? That mine ultra shit? 
Do yourself a favor, Doug. Stay away from them. Where's that? Remember Travis from Shift 3? Travis. Went to recall for his bachelor party. Wanted to be king of Mars or some shit. I'd like to go to Mars. Got himself a lot of Mars. You believe those stories? About recall? Yeah. yeah, I do. Come on. You never thought about it? Just a little bit? I don't need to think about it. I'm gonna switch your mind, man. Ain't worth it. All right, all right, listen up. Maybe I need my mind messed with. Starting double shifts again. Oh. Hey, oh. hey, oh. hey, 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 hey. Don't blame me. I don't want to be here any longer than you do, okay? They've increased the production of police synthetics thanks to that shit this morning, sir. So take all your complaints to Chancellor Cohagen. Now, which one of you fine upstanding assholes wants to train the new guy? Huh? Oh, come on. Don't look at me. I trained the last guy you fired. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. You're up. That's great. Thank you. Anytime. Don't hold it like that. Hold it here. If you hold it there in a cinch shorts, one of those bolts will shoot straight through your hand. No shit, huh? No shit. Easier ways to get a day off. Thanks. Hey, you know your friend was wrong, by the way, about recall. Oh, you done it? <laughs> Been three times already. Really? Best memories I have. A whole lot better than this shit. Hey. Ask for Matt, okay? You're gonna thank me. Level 9. Please report to Human Resources. That'd be so fun. This guy's left, man. Next. Here you are. Please, have a seat. You work on the production line? Uh, in activation, yeah. I understand you live in the colony. Yeah, I make the commute like everyone else. Sorry, who are you, if you don't mind my asking? I'm with the Cohagen administration. I see. Given these politically charged times, there is a heightened concern regarding the, shall we say, loyalty of our workers. Yeah, but I don't work for you. Oh, but you do. This company was granted the government contract for police since, and we are, last time I checked, the government. OK, I see. So, so you, you brought me in here because of where I live? We're bringing all the employees. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, who's, who's questioning the suits? Uh, who gets to question you? Mr. Quaid, in your capacity here, you are privy to police synth technology that is currently classified. I know how to turn them on, if that's what you mean. We'd like you to sign this. And what is that? It affirms that you will not divulge proprietary technology to any source, either foreign or domestic, and that you are not actively engaged in any attempt to overthrow this administration. You want me to sign something that says I'm, I'm not a terrorist? The document merely affirms you are who you say you are. If, if I were a terrorist, you think this would make me tell you? Is that your guy's big plan, Mr. Croy? you catch anyone yet? I have 75 more of these interviews today. Hey, you know what, pal? I had a long day, too. Well, if you'd like to have another, you'll shut up and do what you're told. Wow. Second page at the bottom. You like your job, huh? I'm a people person. Thank you. Next. Gates 9 through 18, now closed. Section 8. Murray, same. 
You ever learn how to play the piano? Yeah, I always wanted to learn to play the piano. It's what you say. What? Yeah, exactly. Been zoned out all day. <clears throat> I've been uh, having these dreams. Dreams? Yeah. Uh, feels like I'm doing something. You know, something. Something that matters. Something important. You know? Nope. <laughs> Not so much. You don't think what we do is important? <laughs> really? Come on, Harry. We commute halfway around the world for shit jobs. Shit pay. If you come to this shit bar and you get drunk on too much shit beer. No offense, Murray. What? Are you actually happy with how your life's turned out? Why the hell shouldn't I be? Are you serious? Is there something wrong with it? No, you know what? You're right. Forget it. I'm just... Forget it. Who's the girl? What do you mean? You heard me. Who's the girl? There's no girl. It's just me. Good. Because women like Lori don't just fall out of the sky. You're a lucky man. You're living the dream, my friend. Really? Yeah, man. I'm living the dream? Yeah. <laughs> All right, big guy. Tomorrow. Hey! My advice? <laughs> Go ahead. Figure out a way to deal with whatever the hell it is you're going through before you mess your shit up for good. It's possible I might attract too much. <laughs> yeah, it's possible, Harry. I'm gonna go throw up on something now. Okay. You're gonna get your shit together. And go home to your wife, you hear me? Yeah, I think everyone heard you, Harry. Good night, Dougie. Good night. Change your mind? I'm a lot more in it. Yeah. I bet. Thank you. Welcome to Recall. First time? Yeah. That always, huh? It's fine. There's nothing to be afraid of. This is a safe place. My friend Merrick gave me this card. Told me to ask for Mac. It's right inside. Remember to have a good time. Welcome. Hey. Your friend of Merrick's. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we, we, uh, work together. Is that it? That is it. It feels like real life. What is life but our brain's chemical perception of it? Your eyes see, your brain chemistry reacts. Here we just remove the middleman and we go straight to the chemistry. Does that make it any less real? An illusion, no matter how convincing, is still just an illusion. That's very good. You're right, objectively. But from the inside, subjectively. I assure you, it's quite the opposite entirely. 
Listen, I get it. I get it. You're here because you feel like something's missing. You've got some tug, some longing for something more. But we're gonna give you that thing. Is that right? Could be something you could never afford to do. Hmm? Something secret you've always wanted to try, but you would never, ever dare. What do you mean, secret? <laughs> Anything. Tell us your fantasy. We'll give you the memory. You want to be rich and famous? Worshipped by millions? Maybe something with a little more adrenaline, huh? Crime fighter or world-class athlete? Secret agent. That's you, right? Clandestine bank accounts. Coded messages. Secret agent. I could do that. Yeah, as an intelligence operative. You could be working for the resistance. Ooh, maybe you work for Cohagen. Or why limit yourself? Why not both? One last thing, Doug. As a matter of full disclosure, none of the secret life elements you chose can actually be true. See, the thing is, a lot of guys come in here, they want the uh, secret mistress strip, and they already have one, a real one, on the side. You can't do that. It would cause irreparable conflict and confusion. It's how brains get blown. Don't worry. I don't have any secrets. I'm sure you don't, but just in case, we're going to run a psychopolygraphic panel on you anyway. Marcus, go. Good time, you're not gonna want to come back. Look at that. Looks like your wife does have a man who appreciates her. No conflict there. Sorry, it's still the best way to get chemicals into the human body. All right, let's get this show on the road. Get ready to save the world. If you trails, man, you can tell me all about it when you get. Wait. Shit, what is it? What's wrong? Get that needle out before it takes. It's killing the fuck's wrong. You lying. What about what? Son of a bitch. Look, I don't have a mistress. What are you talking about? You're a goddamn spy. Vitals are everywhere. Wait here! I'm going quiet! Federal police! Federal police! On your feet! Now! This is all a mistake. It's all a mistake. I'm nobody. I'm nobody. Hands on your head! Now! One, have you secured the suspect? Team one, advise. Let me know what's going on in there. Stevens, get an eyeball in there now. Let's punch it.
described as a terrorist attack, a solitary gunman opened fire on a squadron of federal police at the recall lounge in downtown Fremont. We are still awaiting word on precisely how many casualties yes. there are, but officials now confirming that at least 20 officers have been killed. Oh my God, Doug! I understand. Yeah. Thank you. Boy, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, Send me here. I've been going out of my mind. Where have you been? Look, something bad has happened. No, I know. I just got the call. We've all been put on standby. You don't understand. What? Oh, my God. Doug, are you okay? Boy, it wasn't the resistance who killed those entries. It wasn't the terrorist. It was me. What was you? Boy, I'm the one who killed them. You killed 20 armed men? No. No, it was, it was more like 10. But you killed them? With what, honey? Your book? Oh, you're I'm serious. Look, you're scaring me. I'm sorry. This is gonna sound crazy, okay? I went to recall after work. And, and what? What did they do to you? Nothing. Nothing. I, I sat in the chair. They, they hooked me up. Before they could do anything, the police burst in. They tried to take me. I just reacted. And I killed them. Listen. Don't you see? Whatever you think you did, it had nothing to do with any of this. Those assholes screwed with your mind, and now you're having some kind of a paranoid delusion. This place is really dangerous. Whatever it is that happened, we're gonna get through it. Come here. Job. Are you crazy? Am I crazy? That's a good one, Doug. Considering you don't even know who the hell you are. Do you really believe a factory worker could take out an entire room of highly trained men? Tell me what is going on. Fuck. Or we can skip straight to until death do us part. I'm UFB police intel, assigned to play your wife. Six weeks ago, I didn't even know you. What are you talking about? It's true. Your memory was replaced. Your mind was implanted with the life you think you've lived. Are you keeping up, baby? There is no Douglas Quaid, there never was. You're saying I don't... This... Every... Our marriage... What can I say? I give good wife. Come on. Deep down, did you really believe someone like me would marry someone like you? Living this shit all. If I'm not me, then who the hell am I? How would I know? I just work here. Speculating. I have to guess. With all the trouble Kalagan's taken to hide you from the resistance, you must be fairly important. And with your skill set, I think it's highly doubtful you're his gardener. Kalagan. Kalagan's trying to hide me. Why are you trying to kill me? Talk! Got a seven-year age, Doug. Oh, and by the way, you haven't even begun to see me try to kill you. <laughs> <laughs>
grid now. Federal intel together. Look, there isn't much time. You said to me that if you ever pop back on the grid, I was to phone this number. The grid? Your phone. It's been reactivated. How do you think they've been tracking you? Look, you asked me to give you a message, so I'm giving it to you. Get the key. The key? Well, what is the key? You said you know. Yeah, well, well, I don't. So tell me what it is. Look, I know we were close, but this is getting too dangerous. If they find out I've contacted you, I'll be... Just... Just tell me what's going on. All right, who is it you think I am? Henry. Henry, okay, good. Henry. Henry, who... Look, there isn't any time. If I were you, I'd get rid of that phone. All right? Now! How can I get rid of the phone? It's in my goddamn hand. Look at... Wait! He'd had major tactical training, sir. I wasn't made aware of that. How the hell did he get activated? An agent in place told me he'd gone to recall. I sent a team in, but his memory implant had been blown before they could get to him. I'm 15 minutes behind him. Neutralize only, do you understand me? No lethal force. I want him alive for reimplantation. Who the hell is this guy, sir? Take me off display. Land is secure. Are you kidding me? Why is he still alive? We kill him on sight. But the Chancellor said... I'm sorry, say again. Sorry. The Chancellor's not here on the ground. Believe me, if that target's given even half a chance, he will end us. If you see him, 
You shoot to kill. Is that understood? Telling you that crime owned the guy gave it to me, I swear. Where was he going? Who? The man that gave it to you. Maybe do I look like a psychic? How the hell do I know? All I'm saying is that phone is my personal property now. Okay? I know my rights, so you all can just. <laughs> You've got your breath back. You're going to tell me everything that man said to you, starting from the beginning. Who are you? I'm his wife. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I have a safety deposit box here. It's uh, 10549. Okay, this way, please. Just need a signature match. Signature match? For the account. Is there a problem, Mr. Reed? I'm gonna have to ask you to step through the scanner again, please. How long are you here? Two weeks. Are you a citizen of the Calm? Yes. How long is your stay? Three days. What's your business in the USB? Thank you. Excuse me? Three days. Yes, thank you.
We've alerted all units outside. How the hell did he get a weapon past this scanner? He didn't. Say we're separated.
if you have a nice day. Great. Thanks. This message is being recorded in the event of a worst-case scenario. I'm sure you're desperate for answers, so I'll just start from the top. My name, or your name, is Coral Housen. Oh, shit. This recording has limited interactive capabilities, so just try rephrasing the question. You work with Matthias? Yes and no. I, I've never actually met the man, and hardly anyone has. Look, I know that this is complicated. <laughs> complicated? Right? But this is the truth. I am a federal intelligence operative assigned by Cohagen to infiltrate the resistance and assassinate Matthias. But instead, I discovered I was fighting for the wrong side. I met a woman. She works with the resistance, and she showed me that they were worth fighting for. You mean the terrorists? The resistance are not terrorists. Matthias's targets are always military installations. If there's anything else happening, you can be sure it's Cohagen himself. Trust me, all right? The Chancellor and I go way back. He was my commanding officer in the war, right? so I know exactly what he is capable of. Why would he attack his own people? I don't understand. How else could he justify tripling production of federal police synthetics? He is building a private army capable of invading the colony. Think about it, right? What is the one resource the colony has that United Britain doesn't? Space. Exactly. He's run out of room. But even Cohagen himself is going to have a difficult time selling the forced seizure and mass displacement of billions. So he created an enemy in Matthias, and he built.
built an army to fight him. And now it is up to me to stop him. Up to you to stop him. What do you mean, me? The synthetics run on a biomech brainstem. All right, which means it's possible to shut them all down. All right, there's a kill code. And it's a complex sequence. But it's in my head. It's in your head. So, come again? I went back to UFB territory to try and retrieve the code. Knowing full well that if Gohagen found out I'd turn, he'd erase my memory. But what he didn't know was that I arranged to have a black box embedded in my brain, in your brain. It recorded everything I saw. So you're saying there's a little safe in my skull? Yes. And that is why I need you. The world needs you to reconnect with the resistance. Deliver the code to Matthias. Have him shut down the synthetics and stop Kohagen while there's still time. The future hangs on what you... on what we do next. Good luck, buddy. You have got to be kidding me. This can't be happening. Shouldn't have come here. I know. I have no choice. I know that this is a lot to take. Yeah, it's a lot to take. Yeah, I'm supposed to believe this? That's the truth. Hauser, we have been looking for you. Don't call me. My name is Doug Quaid. I was born August 29th. Right? I was raised by my mother. She died of cancer 10 days before my 15th birthday. I married my girlfriend when I was 29. You were born 29th. You were raised by your father, not your mother. He died before you were 15, but in a car crash. And believe me, you were most definitely not married. I'm sorry, you know what? None of this makes any sense to me. I'm Doug Quaid, that's all I know. You recognize me. From a dream. I, I, I recognize you from a dream. It wasn't a dream. It was a memory. That scar on your hand, how do you think you got it? Do you know? I got it at work. I was trying to help you escape, but I was too late. You grabbed onto me, and a bullet tore through your hand and mine. You must remember something. And you and I... Hey, what are you doing here? They sent me in for you. To talk you down. Who sent you in? No. You don't get it. I don't mean they sent me in here. I mean they sent me into your mind. I need you to listen to me. I'm suffering what's called a paranoid disassociative break, brought on by the trauma of a chemical fantasy. What are you talking about? You're not really here, Doug. I'm still back at recall, strapped to a chair. I mean, this is real. Back at recall? He's lying. Whoa, 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 whoa! He's lying! Just slow down. Harry, what are you talking about? When we were back at the bar, you had me worried, so I followed you. But by the time I got here, it was too late. You're unresponsive. So? They chemically transfused me into your mind. They thought a familiar face might help to try and bring you back. Before it's too late, you're trapped here forever. Do not listen to them. They're just trying to recover what's in your head. Uh, I assure you. This is not the Harry that you know. Think. Does he even sound like himself? He is a plant, just like your wife, to keep you in line. I don't sound like me, Doug, because you don't want me to. What do you mean I don't want you to? I need to realize I'm merely the idea of Harry. The rest is supplied by your own imagination. Even the explanation I'm giving you right now. It's really you. It's really you. Your mind is choosing the words. Because that's where we are, Doug. In your mind. We must get you out before it's too late. Trapped here forever. This is all in my mind. Why are you wearing a bulletproof vest? Because you put it on me. I put it on you. Don't you see? Explain that to me. How do I put this on you? It's crazy. 
part of you wants to protect me, to let me guide you back to consciousness before your psychosis reaches such extreme levels that you slip into a permanent coma to prevent you to free yourself. Hauser, I am real. He is real. He works for Cohagen. Laurie? What's she doing here? She's here too, Doug. What's she doing here? She's in the room beside you, holding your hand right now. We're sick. It's your presence you're sensing. She's, she's trying to kill me! No. Harry! Not the real Lori, Doug. As soon as I told her what was happening at recall, she came straight over. I had to call her at work. She loves you, Doug. Lori didn't work. Last night, Harry. You're lying. You're lying. Why are you lying to me? Only because you wanted me to. You're clinging to the delusion. He's lying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Harry, Harry. I swear to God, put it down. Harry, what are you doing? Harry, what are you doing? This is not a delusion. No? Okay, all right. Tell you what. Is that proof enough for you? Would I have done that if this were for real? You see, I'm not afraid, Doug. You shouldn't be either. There's enough of this bullshit. Now you were gonna tell him the truth, or I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. Don't. Don't. Hauser, he's trying to manipulate you into giving yourself up. We gotta get out of here. And go where? There's no getting out of your own head, Doug. But you can escape this nightmare if you let me help you. Help me out. Don't listen. How can you help me? You have to shoot her, Doug. What now? I know that's asking a lot. But she's at the epicenter of this whole twisted fantasy of yours. She represents all your frustration, no. all your unhappiness. How's that? Which is why it would mean nothing if we were to kill her. It's you who has to choose reality. You shoot her, Doug. And I promise you, you will gasp awake and find me sitting in the room beside you. The real me. No. Your old pal, Harry. Look at me. Turn, and you'll see your beautiful, loving wife. She wants you back, Doug. We both do. That's right, Doug. Come on back. Come on back, Doug. I can't let them take you away. real now you just need to prove it to yourself and her dumb and this nightmare shoot her kill her damn it shoot <laughs> I suppose I should be calling you Hauser. I guess the joke's on me. I really thought you were a loser. Turns out I was living with the greatest intelligence agent alive. Cohagen still wants you back, you know. I guess he still has faith in you. And then you always were the favorite. But I know what you are. You're a traitor, Hauser. And traitors get put to death. So you might want to give your little girlfriend a kiss goodbye. As long as she doesn't mind where those lips have been. That's it, I'm in this bitch. 
shit, I'm out. many in the Cohagen administration have long suspected that Matthias and his terrorist movement are being funded by the colony's government and his district's organization. And we're now hearing unconfirmed reports of military mobilization. Sources close to the Chancellor will neither confirm nor deny Jesus. the reports. The resistance leader has been... I've got to get you to Matthias. How the hell do we find out? There's a way, come on.
Zauser. Scours, you have been in the colony every day looking for my father. The reason they can't find him is he's not there. After the wars, no one would be crazy enough to come out here. Everyone stays out of the no zone. Makes sense. Seems to know me, but me. Strange. <laughs> yeah. I can see he meant a lot to these guys. Yeah. He gave us the upper hand. And some of us were really able to see the best in him. Once the best is gone. I'm sorry. House wasn't perfect, you know. You're a real asshole sometimes. You're just trying to make me feel better. Maybe. It's working. <laughs> He wants to see him alone. Don't go too far. Okay. What is it you want? I want to help you. That is not the only reason you are here. I want to remember. Why? So I can be myself. Be who I was. It is each man's quest to find out who he truly is, but the answer to that lies in the present, not in the past. As it is for all of us. But the past tells us who we've become. The past is a construct of the mind. It blinds us, it fools us into believing it. But the heart wants to live in the present. Look there. You'll find your answer. I am told you have information that may save us all. I am told the same. Thank <laughs> you. 
how much I've been looking forward to seeing you again. It's been far too long. You know, you're a very hard man to find. It's a trap! Shut it all down! be interested to know that there is no kill code. It was a fake. You know what? I'm sorry. It was the only way to get to you. All this trouble for one man. Oh, never underestimate the power of one man. I know I don't. Defensive plans, truth numbers, and location coordinates on every resistance outpost in the colony. The first wave of attack is already underway. Brilliant. Congratulations, my friend. Get him up, please. Up, up, up. You did it. You're a hero. What is that modesty? No, 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 no. Matthias is dead, the colony is about to fall, and it's all thanks to you. I knew that I could trust you to stick to the plan. What are you talking about? All right. Yours is not the most reliable of memories, is it? I it was really rather simple. Infiltrate the resistance, find Matthias' daughter. No. Get her to trust you. No. Oh, yes. That's right. Once we discovered he was your father, we knew exactly who to target. No, yeah, he's lying. I'm afraid not. You see, that was also the easy part, because seduction has always been the strongest suit. Still, it was Matthias that we needed to get to. And he would need assurance far beyond mere words to let a man with your history, shall I say, come anywhere near him. Oh. But that is when you came up with the ingenious idea to feign capture and let us wipe your slate clean. Don't listen to him. <laughs> this is brilliant. What better way to convince the old man that you really and truly turned against me? Don't listen. Don't listen. He's lying. No, I'm not. 
Granted, there were a few hiccups along the way. You popping your cap at recall, for instance, that wasn't good. <laughs> there it is. Oh, with a Hauser spirit, you're gonna need that. And then there was your lovely wife, who strayed from her directive. Look at me. She was ordered to bring you back alive. I'll deal with that later. But you let us here, Hauser. You held up your part of the deal, and now I'm going to hold up mine. What do you mean? No! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What you and I have been planning all along. We made sure to back up Hauser's memory before we sent him in there. This is what you wanted. Yes. Just think of it. In a few hours, you'll awake, and you will be the old Hauser once again. Loyal. Patriotic. Ruthless. Now, what to do with you? I think we keep her. Leave her out of this! I'm in the fucking chair! I think the world will be very interested to hear the confession of Matthias's daughter, denouncing her father and the Resistance. You. Go ahead. You'd be very surprised to see how good Hauser is at beating the confession of his own. But then you go ahead. You have me. Let her go. Let her go. Lena. Just try to relax. It'll all be over soon. I promise. We'll be reunited very soon. And meanwhile, I have an invasion to lead. I wish I could forget that easily. Lori! Sweet dreams. So fight it as much as possible. It's more that way. Distributed to all squadron commands as we speak. Excellent. When do we depart? As soon as you give your orders. You have it. And find some place for her, will you?
free. Access granted. We are a go. I'll go 310. Citizens of the colony are to be considered hostile. Program all synthetics to use lethal force. Repeat. Citizens of the colony are to be considered hostile. We are a go. Prisoners attempting escape on level nine. The prisoner in base six was just caught attempting escape. She was with a second individual, male. That's him. Deal with it. Come on. And the bag. Do it. Until the best of the core. There we go. 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 
Gravity reversing. <laughs> Disappointment, Hauser. I'm afraid it's time to erase those memories for good. Oh! <laughs> 
systems. Shit, come on! Reloading. You really thought that would stop an entire invasion? No. I think that's wrong. Hey, wake up. Hey. Come on, wake up. Wake up. That was your fantasy. No scar on your head. Do you think I'd let you?
make you leave without a kiss goodbye. Tell that to his part, right, baby? That's right. Drop the weapon now! It's all right. It's him. Okay, sir. Sure. Got a medic down in here. Sure. 